Hello friends, welcome back to GK Code Labs. In this video, we are going to discuss how any of us who is interested in one of the leading technologies that is big data can easily start his career in this domain and boost his CV with advanced technologies like Hadoop, Spark, Hive, HBase, Kafka and many more which are very high in demand in current IT industry. Also, I would request all the aspiring big data candidates to subscribe to our channel GK Code Labs. So let's go and see what will be the first step that you need to take. First step would be analyze yourself that how challenging or easy it will be for you depending upon which technology you are in. So if you have good hold on programming languages like Java, Scala, Python, R or SQL, it's going to be pretty easy for you and on to that if you have idea on data warehousing client server architecture linux shell scripting it will be very easy for you to get into big data on the other hand if your current experience is on some different technologies in it industry for example like sap web development web servers application servers javascripts then also it is not completely impossible but yeah learning curve will be a bit on a higher side so now let's see what could be the first step that you need to take. First thing you need to understand the use of big data. I mean why these companies are using big data. What challenges the industry used to face when they were not using big data. I mean this basic idea you should have that why you are going to learn big data. Is it really that big or it's just a market gimmick. Some idea you should have. After that, you need to have a basic idea on few of these topics. I am talking just the basic idea on what is batch data, what is streaming or live data, structured, semi-structured or unstructured data, what are ETL concepts, what is Hadoop, what is Spark, Hive, NoSQL databases, HBase and data warehousing. I have mentioned it in one liner points because you just need to have very basic information like what it is so that when you go ahead and deep dive into big data these terms should not sound new to you. So just the basic idea what these things are. So let's say you start learning today you can finish it in somewhat around one month. I have given one month because many of you I believe will be working with some of the other IT companies so I'm not sure how much time you will be able to give it but yes as far as these topics are concerned one month should be more than enough to get the basic idea then once you have the basic idea you need to see what is Hadoop once you get into the big data world Hadoop should be one term that should be popping in your mind all the time so you should have at least all this basic idea which I have mentioned in these bullet points. Hadoop architecture, what is name node and data nodes, file system, resource managers, cluster resource planning that means how you can plan a Hadoop cluster, important configuration files, important processes and daemons that Hadoop uses, file formats, block size and its significance, replication factor, high availability and fault tolerance. So let's give near about 10 to 12 days for understanding these basic points Hadoop. Then once you are done with this, next topic will be ETL. You need to understand what is ETL and what is its use in big data. You need to see some important ETL concepts and important ETL tools. Let's give this near about three to five days see friends in this video i'm just telling you the bullet points that you should keep on your fingertips if you are going into big data world i'm not going into the deep what etl concepts will be what etl tools you can use that will surely be coming in our interview series so please subscribe to our channel in this video i'm just giving you a roadmap that will lead you to a good position in big data industry the next step would be you have to understand spark spark is one of the mostly used technology in big data world so you need you need to understand what is spark why is spark required in big data what is spark in reference to hadoop are they same are they different how are they related you need to clear this up 
Spark data structures and their importance. Spark has basically three data structures, RDDs, data frames and data sets. So you need to have a basic idea on all of them. Then important Spark libraries, Spark components like driver, worker, executor, etc. Important Spark functions and Spark program execution lifecycle. So for Spark, it's a bit complicated. So for getting the basic idea itself, we'll give it seven to 10 days. Then your next step would be to understand Hive. So what is Hive? Why is Hive required in big data world? SQL versus HQL. See, again, I'm not going to tell what is SQL, what is HQL, because I need you to do some digging. And anyways, if you don't find the answers, just let me know and see my other videos on GK Code Labs, which will help you understand all these topics. Then basic Hive commands performance tuning concepts which is most important tuning concepts like partitioning bucketing and then input output file formats so this will suffice for a basic idea in hive so let's give it three to five days so after understanding these concepts etl hadoop spark and hive you can say that you have achieved a beginner level then what next whatever concepts you have learned obviously in programming world you have to do a lot of hands-on for which i'll tell you a very basic setup which is very easy to set up on your laptop or desktop and that will provide you basically all the tools which we have discussed so far and you can get your hands dirty on it so for this you have to download oracle virtual box i'll provide the same links in description of this video then once you have downloaded oracle virtual box the second step would be to download Cloudera Quick Start VM. The link is provided. This virtual box image would be somewhere around uh, 150 to 200 MB. But this Cloudera Quick Start VM will be somewhere around 5.5 to 6 GB. This Cloudera Quick Start VM includes big data tools like Hive, HBase, Spark, Scala, Eclipse, Yarn, Zookeeper and a complete Hadoop setup. This is based on Linux and OS operating system. So for all this setup, you will not need more than one day. And once you have all this setup, as a beginner, you can start doing your hands-on. So first thing, you, you should practice the use case scenarios. You will find most of the use case scenarios on Google or uh, let me know in the comment section of my respective videos. I have videos on Kafka, Spark, Streaming and Hive and many big data concepts. So if you are interested in those, let me know in comment section of those videos. I'll provide the use case scenarios for you. So initially you should practice like file input output in HDFS, how to load data in Hive, brush up some of your skills on Scala programming and basic data operations in Spark. So friends for this hands-on use case scenarios will go on and on. I cannot list all of them here in this presentation itself but I'll request you to follow our interview question series in which we try to bring as many as use case scenarios which the live big data projects are using and also those case scenarios will be mostly asked in your interview questions. So I hope you liked this video. If you really did please hit that like button and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.